what keyed that second half and you know scored 40 to 18 and basically went away with it there? Um, just a collective effort from everybody. Uh, we knew we had to play harder coming into halftime. It was just you know we didn't we, we didn't feel like we were playing as tough as we could. And, um, just going out second half, playing with passion and you know with love for the game, and you know it kind of showed. We were kind of into it. The crowd was into it, so we kind of fed off the crowd and you know just played Maryland basketball how we know how to play. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Does this feel like a game that you can most tangibly point to and see how far the freshmen have come? Um, yeah, uh, I tell Sticks every day, you know, you're a key part of what we do. You know, in the second half, he played tremendous. And um, whenever he's playing well, we're just, a we're just at a different level. You know, it just brings us a different dynamic, you know, from the inside, outside. And, you know, I, I appreciate Sticks, you know, what he do, and uh, I got to stay on yeah. Eric, going back to the first of the two threes, kind of go through that play with kind of shaking off Edwards and, and being able to hit that shot in, in rhythm the way you did, and how much did that galvanize you guys, you think? Um, just another basketball play for me, personally. Um, I work on those shots every day, you know, uh, and it, it didn't come to surprise me that I made the shot, because that's something I shoot every single day. And, um, you know, credit to Carson Edwards, he's a great player. You know, uh, he made a lot of fantastic plays tonight. And, you know, we made it. It was a team collective effort, you know, to guard him on the defensive end. So, I um, I'm sorry, I think you're the 10-4 in the conference. What do you, you know, in terms of you want that double bye when tournament time rolls around? Personally, I'm going to be honest, I don't know nothing about that. That 10-4 <laughs> conference, all that. I just go out and play. You know, um, I just want to win. And I know if we win, you know, good things going to happen. So if we get a buy or whatever, you know, that would be a blessing. But we got to go out and play every game, no matter who, who in front of us. So, Eric, I don't know if you're aware that there was a stretch where 21 straight points by the freshman uh, in the second half. What you said say? 21 straight, straight points by the, freshman? By, the freshman. by the freshman? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> That's tough. And, and, you know, I remember the first game at Purdue where, where Mark talked about how young you guys played. What does it say about this group of freshmen and, and what you guys did tonight? Uh, I just want to commend Coach Terrigen. Um, he got a tremendous amount of confidence in us. And, you know, he, he never he never lets us down. You know, he's always uplifting and, you know, making sure, you know, that we're okay and, you know, that we're confident. And that's one thing he preaches is just stay confident. You know, with a young team, young freshman, you know, it, the ups and downs can get to you as a, as a freshman. But, you know, because Coach Turgeon, he does a, and not just Coach Turgeon, our whole coaching staff, they do a great job of, you know, keeping us uplifted and making sure we're confident. So I guess that kind of show. Second half, you guys held them to 17%. What was the approach coming out of the locker room? What was the focus? What was different uh, with the way that you guys were able to deny them? Um, Darren Marcel, uh, he was key for us. And, uh, you know, he was working all night, you know, Carson. And, you know, Carson made some tough shots. He's going to do that. And, um, but Darrell, you know, he guarded him. He gave him everything he had. And, I come in everything. We fed off their energy. Their was there the whole night, and uh, that was big for us. How huge was it for you guys to get this one? You guys haven't been playing a game in this building in almost a month. You guys go out for two more. Um, I'm a freshman, so I'm, I'm still learning about things as we go, and I, I appreciate playing at home. It's a big advantage. The crowd, it's, that's so much an advantage, you know, to you know a basketball game and how how into it they can be and how, how we can feed off of their energy. So, you know, I love playing at home. I'm starting to fall in love with it. Uh, but we still got some tough road games coming up, and we got to get ready for them. So, With as many players you have that actually get minutes, how competitive has practice become as you guys have grown up this season? Practice, I think practice has taken another level these last couple of days. Um, Anthony, he's been a great leader in practice. Uh, he knows, he's been he's been through this before, and he's, uh, he's experienced things like this before. So. To see him take his his play to another level in practice has been tremendous for me and the other freshmen, you know, just to keep going. You know, we're freshmen, we, we want to go out there and play, you know, whether it's in practice or a game, you know, we come to practice to play. So to get that leadership from our upper classmen like that, to come in ready to play, he comes in ready to practice like it's a game. So um, I thank Anthony for that.